Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. The little ombre maxi dress. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is 8.18 in the morning. I got back from New York City last night and I am in, currently in the process of unpacking from my New York trip and repacking again because I just got an incredible opportunity with Airbnb what <laughs> um they are flying me to la for a content shoot for three nights they are putting me up in a stunning suite at the edition in la more details to follow because i can't spill too much tea but i just wanted to share with you guys i hope you checked out the new york city vlog I had such an amazing time, the weather was incredible, I came back with a tan, but I'm here back home for only a few days and I'm back on a flight to LA on Sunday morning, but I wanted to jump on here and open a few packages because I have been shopping for my birthday and shopping for upcoming trips that I had, so let's open those together. I have a package from Micah's. I've never ordered from them before, so I'm intrigued to see the quality. The quality is good. It's like a good heavyweight knit material. I like the colorway. I think this could be cute actually with just like some jean shorts and some heels. So I'm definitely packing this for the trip. Next I have, I think it was just like an accessory that I got. I think these are the earrings. Yep, I got some gold earrings. Can never have too many hoops. I think this is a set of two hoops. So, always need hoops. Oh, and this is the skirt that caught my eye. It's such a pretty print. And it seemed like it was a nice like silk material it's definitely not silk it's not satin it's more of like a cotton blend but it's really pretty oh it definitely bringing this with me let's see if i wore this with like a crop top so cute i love the colors and i'm sure i could play with how this is tied so it's on the side maybe instead of the front but Yep, it says, it just says the name of the shipping company. It doesn't say the name of the brand, so let's see. Oh, this is from a brand that I just came across on Instagram. It's called Bella Barnett. Let's see. Oh, this is my birthday dress. I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's cute. The material is giving like spandex. It's giving like almost House of CB vibes, really. This is something that I have to try on to actually show you guys properly. But yeah, you're not really going to see it on camera. But it's got like these cutouts. Oh, this is cute. I can't wait to try this on. I might try this on for you guys so you can see because this is a cute little number okay another item from Bella Barnett I just put it on a hanger so you guys could see it beans as I'm not going to try it on in this moment but so stinking cute can you imagine this is stunning. All hand embroidered pearls. It's like a blazer dress. This is gonna go crazy. So 
so excited for that. Oh, I got dress, which has this really cute ombre situation. It's a long length maxi dress. I'm not sure if this is going to come with me to LA, but I do have another trip as soon as I get back from LA, which I'll keep you guys updated on. But for now, I'm just focusing on what I need for LA because this trip is coming up first. Oh, cute. A little sexy little black dress number. Again, I'm traveling a lot. My birthday is in a week. I just wanted to have options to be like, okay, at least wherever I do decide to go, I'm not struggling for outfits. So this is a cute LBD with chiffon panels and cutouts. Super sexy. I am going to bring that to LA because even if I don't wear it out, I think that could be a great piece to shoot in. But the blazer that I showed you guys with like the pearl embellishments, I wanted like a sandal, a pump to go with it. So I've got these. It's given Cinderella their Perspex clear and then they have this beautiful embellishment here. Silver heel. They've got rhinestones on the back, which I wasn't really a fan of, but I think honestly it could look cute once it's on. And then they lace up around the ankle. Oh, I got these two. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. These are adorable. They're like a pearly white. They have a square toe and a... Okay. As I was saying, square toe, gold heel, open toe shoes. These are hella cute. All right. All right. I'll try on a few pieces. And I was just checking out where they have me staying. It's the West Hollywood edition on Sunset Boulevard. It's a five-star hotel. The rooms go for about $800 a night. I'm so excited. This is so surreal. I'm so excited. I've only been to LA once. My last california trip was the recent one i took to palm springs i hope that you guys went to go and check out that vlog that was surreal it was just like a wellness retreat that i did for myself it wasn't a brand trip it was a solo trip and i just did things that were really like rejuvenating and recentering but i flew into la rented a car and drove to palm springs and then the time before that i've only ever been to la once before that and it was me and my sister and neither of us from this country so we really just didn't know where to go we was on like trip advisor and stuff trying to figure it out when i get back from la i'm gone again twice like i literally have two more upcoming trips coming in the next couple of weeks like consecutive trips not complaining super grateful this is just the reality of me having brand trips personal trips and birthday trips all simultaneously happening around the same time i'm not mad i'm here for the journey i love it i am just taking moments to like like let this sink in like i'm never been i have never been this busy in my entire life and i'm trying to be consistent with capturing content because i can't even believe that this is my life so i want to be able to share it with you guys but there's actually an element of effort from being in front of the camera and vlogging and capturing this content. So bear with me while I figure out this stride. As I have been saying, life has been life in. The content part, capturing it is one element, but then the editing part, baby, I wholeheartedly enjoy it. Like I love finding the music, chopping it up, reliving the moment. But it definitely takes time. It's time consuming. There's no two ways about that. So bear with me. Thank you for tapping in. Stay tuned. Engage with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things.
before I tried it on. Obviously, this is not an outfit, but in terms of the actual cardigan itself, like I feel like this is not very structured. Um, I don't know. I actually really like the colors on the sleeves. I don't know. They have pockets. Maybe if it was buttoned up, it wouldn't look so... It just looks a little droopy, like a little... I don't know. I think this needs some styling. Let me keep it moving because I've got like eight more items. Okay, this is the little ombre maxi dress from Shein. Fits like a glove. Material's gorgeous. So pretty. Stunning. Even the way how this is cut makes me look like I've got a little bit more. So cute. Perfect, like floor length. Definitely giving dinner, date night vibes. This is cute. I don't think this is gonna come with me to LA, but I do have a birthday trip. So also let's get into these birthday outfits. What else we got? Oh my goodness, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blazer dress. This is so stunning. This, oh, it has pockets too. I love a pocket. Um, so this is from Bella Barnett, I think it was. Um, really cute. I really like it. And it is a blazer, so it doesn't have to be worn as a dress. It could be worn like layered so maybe if I wore like some nice pants or even like some shorts to style with it I think this could be really cute with some heels some boots like this is a moment I really like this yeah this is cute this for me is given it's a birthday it's a birthday it's so cute this is from Shein it has this double chiffon situation design from the cups and then this ribbed corset situation fits like a glove so cute I think this might be, I don't know, I actually kind of like it with my hair down because of the style. It's given like Amazonian goddess. But I think also with like a hair up moment, or at least hair back to show like the detail. This is really cute. I really like this. I don't know if this is picking up on the details on camera, but this area right here gorgeous and it has built-in cups so we love that so pretty i really like this and the back is also chiffon so lit yeah i like this a lot this might be the birthday outfit, honestly. I feel sexy, but I feel like it's not doing too much. It's classy. This might be the birthday outfit. Okay, this one I don't know is as flattering as the last one. It's definitely more like party. It's got all of these chiffon cutouts. So you can't wear a bra with it. So I would have to wear like some little chicken cut cutlets or pasties. Um, it's giving party, you know? like the chiffon slits the cut out i'm not really sure even the chiffon on the back panel is like angled so that this seam could potentially just leave and then your ass is out and I don't like that. Like, I like sexy and it can be revealing 
but I also want it to be very much classy. And I don't know, this is almost giving like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if it was, I don't know. <laughs> All right, next. This is another Bella Barnett situation. It's a short dress, bustier, chiffon. Clearly you get the vibe for what I was going for for my birthday, right? Because it's all pretty much like cutouts, chiffon, grown and sexy. That was the vibe. Um, I'm trying to zip it up in the back. It's got a center back zipper halfway there. Um, I have no boobs, so this is not quite as flattering on me as it looked on the model. Although it is still like quite classy and sexy, the material is gorgeous. I like this chiffon ruched side detail. I do like that. Um, and again, like another asymmetrical hem moment. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, I don't know that I love it. I'm gonna keep it because I think it's it's essentially an option for me. So wear for my birthday but this cup area is just like not so flattering I don't think but yeah fits like a glove bodycon spandex material just don't know I really the first one was really doing it honestly and I'm not even going to try on the third one the third one is very similar to this where it has like not third fourth it's very similar where it has like the boning for the bustier and it's more lower cut but I don't even feel like trying that on right now. I've got another, let me actually try this jacket on over this. So it's not a jacket, it's a shirt and I have something similar in black. So I thought, oh, this could be cute, but I ordered it in a size small and it's given I should have got it in a medium because it's actually tiny. This is what it looks like. It's not buttoned up, I'm just holding it. So this is what it would be like if it was closed. I think it's gonna be an additional layer that looks good when it's just open. Just like a throw on piece. Cause now that I'm looking at it, that doesn't look, obviously this is not a fit together, but it's, this looks nicer open, I would say. And then the last thing that I have, which I'm also not going to try on, this pink dress which has the same mesh material. I'm sure it's cute and flattering. It's just like a bodycon dress that has this mesh material, corset ribbon on the waist. But I'm not trying that on. I need to go, I need to get these nails done because we are flying out after work tomorrow. All right, so let me know in the comments which one, which dress out of the three that I've shown you guys that you think I should wear for my birthday. Remember there is a fourth option, but the fourth dress is similar to this in terms of the bone-in and the low cut, and it's a longer length, so maybe it is giving a completely different vibe. I just don't feel like trying it on right now. Um, the accessories that I received in the package are really cute. These are the earrings, and I have a few like long length necklaces, which I thought would really complement all of these like low cut dresses that I purchased. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Gotta run. Need to get these nails taken care of. Hey guys, checking in. It is 4.20 a.m. I just got in from work. And I just showered and put on this oversized Grand Cormino tee. Don't know if you can see properly. Um, and then these cargo pants that I just got from H&M recently. Something cozy and oversized is super hot. And I just wanted something like breezy. I'm so ready to tap out. I just made a sleepy girl mocktail with like the cherry juice and the magnesium and hopefully I'm just gonna knock out on this flight I am priority boarding so 
I anticipate falling asleep before the plane even takes off. I'm so tired. Coming off of a 12 hour shift. But waking up in LA is going to be such a blessing. I'm so grateful. Again, this is a brand trip with Grand Cormino. And in collaboration with... I'm not even going to share it because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share it yet. Even once this is edited with TBC um, or TBD or to share later um but i'm exhausted i'm gonna finish packing and get all of my things together in time for my uber see you in la you say nothing's wrong at all but i say that we're falling off like Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm done fighting In your heart you keep trying The truth is I hide That's just the way we are but Can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new it won't be like that To everybody else it would just show me back but I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad Okay, I have just checked in to the West Hollywood edition The room is beautifully decorated It's all like neutral tones Natural materials, wooden stools and such Super cozy I am actually about to hydrate Shower and close these blinds and tap out at least for like four or five hours that flight was not as comfortable as i needed it to be i upgraded to business class and all it really did was give me tsa um like i skipped the line at tsa and i had priority boarding so i was in like the second row but i flew with southwest airlines which doesn't really have a business class so essentially all it did i paid extra for me to skip lines which sure i'm grateful for but what i was anticipating was kind of like a big bigger seats but it wasn't that and then the ac was really high so i was cold on the flight i didn't sleep great so yeah i'm gonna tap out but i'm in la hopefully i have um a good little nap and then i will give you guys a hotel tour and probably just go and chill by the pool but yeah i gotta get some sleep for now i just woke up it's a few hours later it's actually like 2 30 pm that's one thing that's great about the west coast you actually gain a few hours coming from the east coast right but i don't want to waste the day i don't want to sleep the entire day it's a beautiful day here in LA and I'm staying at a stunning hotel that has an incredible pool so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to freshen up put on a bikini go to the rooftop pool order something to eat I have to eat and hopefully the sun and some nutrients and being by the pool will give me the energy that I need to have a fun day in LA um, I'm not actually working until Tuesday and Wednesday so I actually do have today and tomorrow to kind of like chill and experience LA I'm gonna try and link up with some friends while I'm here but for right now it's food and hydration because you hear my voice right I'm so croaky but I'm proud of me I made it I did a full shift and i went to the airport took a flight got to the hotel took a nap i'm still going and i feel like i've been going 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 since new york i was ripping and running in new york came back to dc worked the whole week flew out to la just a lot of moving parts so i'm here to chill and enjoy the west coast so i guess i'll catch you guys at the pool or something
like sandals. No, I right. <laughs> From London? Birmingham actually. Oh okay. Yeah. Spent a little bit of time in Birmingham. Oh really? I've gone around I spent a lot of time in the UK. Yeah? Leeds, Birmingham, Manchester. Yeah, we're polar opposites. People think that I'm Australian. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's just you, the, you the American get, twang. Get, I always get uh, South African. I don't get. Oh. I don't get it. Yeah. You get Aussie. Sometimes or South South African for sure. Maybe it's Kylie Minogue. <laughs> she can sound really English. Kylie Minogue. Wow. <laughs> It is a video. Hi, Lex. <laughs> oh, we out here. Go ahead, friend. I got to meet my friend in LA. I'm so excited. I'm happy that you're here. Like, it feels like unreal, you know? I know. It's been a moment since we was in New York together. Yeah, it's like, I'm back at the Edition Hotel, hanging out with Jay. For me, here so you know 3 40 on the east coast i'm definitely tired um but i had a great evening i ate really well i went to a lounge bar with my friend i've had a full day chilled by the pool had a moment with my friend and now i'm about to have some tea and go to sleep i'm so grateful and blessed to be here the hotel is absolutely stunning Every corner and crevice is beautifully decorated. Every attention to detail and element and nuance is so beautifully crafted and curated. Nice touches like boxed water in the room and just nice little details which I appreciate. So I'm super grateful to be here. For me, this feels like I am kicking off cancer season. Let me move this, the light is so strange. Um. The light is weird, let me just move. And that's day one. I'm about to tap out, good night, about to sip my tea. I already took my makeup off. I'm ready, I'm ready. This has been a long day. I'm done. Good night, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Beach 
plan for the next whole week Say it's too long for a nigga so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it absolutely insane I was in a perfectly fine room my accommodation was great and they just upgraded me to a suite it has this incredible bathtub a stunning view a huge space I had a meeting with the team who brought me here to LA I don't think I can disclose any information yet but I have hair and makeup coming at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I have to be on set at 9 a.m. So for today, I just laid up by the pool. I'm gonna refresh and go and get dinner with one of my friends here. And then I'm gonna call it an early night. I am elated. I cannot believe that this is my experience. I am beyond blessed. And to make it even more special, it's the start of cancer season. I am going to be celebrating a birthday in the next week and a half and this feels like the start of a celebration. I am beyond blessed and elated to have this experience. Like, I'm just a girl from Birmingham. I don't know how this is my reality. I have been eating at the hotel. I ate last night for dinner and I also went there today for breakfast. The hotel restaurant is 10 out of 10. Yesterday I had octopus, salad, fries, and what they call milk bread, which was divine. Um, for breakfast, I had avocado toast, poached egg, Earl Grey tea. Then I went to the pool, had duck tacos, and the pescado tacos, which was sea bass, topped with like avocado, it was surreal. I also had the wings, which was like quite spicy, but like sticky, um, just eating really good. And that is ooh, my love language. I'm eating really good. I am soaking up all of the sun. I'm getting to link up with friends here in LA who I haven't seen for a moment. I went to the beach earlier today. I mean, I'm here in LA for a good time, not a long time. But I am maximizing my time here. I had a beautiful beach day, super Cali vibes, honestly, like huge waves. The ocean was just like quite dramatic. I have a shoot tomorrow and Wednesday, and then I am on a red eye flight back to DC on Wednesday night. So just soaking it all in, I am super grateful to be here. The pool is where I'm gonna be spending most of my time. It's a rooftop pool, panoramic views, stunning. 
vibes and food and drinks so that's where you'll catch me so just checking in i'll see you guys maybe at dinner but maybe it'll be i don't know because i can't document the shoot so maybe I'll, I'll catch you on the roof again but i am so blessed and grateful all glory be to god man yeah this is next level i'll catch you on the next one man i'm rambling <laughs> i'm out good morning i have just woken up it is 6.20 a.m. on the West Coast. I'm way more tired than I should be because that's really 9.20 on the East Coast. But hair and makeup is arriving at my suite at 7 a.m. And then my call time on set is at 9 a.m. So I just ordered room service. Oh, I think that's my phone, my mommy. Okay, I thought I had a little bit more time, but actually, I have an assistant who's bringing up, I have an assistant, I don't know whose life this is, but I have an assistant who's bringing me up a coffee and a croissant. She is here already, so I'm gonna, I guess, wait for her to come in before I um, shower, because I, I don't want to be in the shower and she's waiting at the door. This is insane, but um, this is absolutely insane. And she has an iced coffee for me, but I just ordered room service for like water and tea because it's so early. I don't think me putting coffee in my body right now is I'm going to be going to the bathroom and I have to be on set all day. So that's not an option. But look at the beautiful LA morning. I'm gonna hydrate, shower, wash my face, and prep for this hair and makeup situation I've got coming. Talk to you guys later. Um, I cannot record a whole lot for today because I already signed like an NDA and I can't share information prior to its release. So I'll pick up the camera as soon as I possibly can. Outfit number one. This is very like fun and flirty. I need to take off the bra. Oh yeah. Can we take a picture of the bra? Actually?